Sorry guys, my camera just suddenly shut off. But anyways, um, the Five of Swords is all about conflict and it's about fighting just to win, okay? Which means usually um, there's no sense of concern for the other person's feelings, well-being. It's, you know, doing whatever you see fit in order to win. But what generally happens is that you win the battle, but you lose the war. You alienate the people that you love, that you're in this conflict with. The Sun card is the complete opposite. It's, it's the ultimate. It is the happiest, sunniest, brightest card in the deck. So, um... Be careful. The message here is be careful how you fight this battle. Because if you want the outcome to be sunny and bright and optimistic, you really have to be careful how you fight this battle. Okay, now, your first card, where you're at, ish, is the Messenger of Fire. Or in regular decks, this would be the Page of Wands, okay? Ooh, then you have the love card in other decks. This is the lover's card. Now, this is also uh, my twin flame card because this represents Gemini. Gemini is twins, which is you. So it could be you showing up here. Sorry, I forgot I was doing Gemini. And then you have the fool card. It's not. There we go. The Magician card. Queen of Cups. This could be your person. Scorpio, Pisces, or Cancer. Could be Queen or King of Cups. And here we have the Nine of Wands. Ooh, I like the Nine of Wands, and I'll tell you why when I, when I get done this. Messenger of Earth or Page of Pentacles. And your possible outcome and where you're headed with all of this is the Queen of Swords. Truth, knowledge, wisdom. Okay. The Nine of Wands I like because for me it's a card of perseverance. It's about having another opportunity at something. Okay. It's about working hard for a long period of time, persevering, trying to reach a goal, and you're almost there. But you reach that point where you think, what's the point? I've been doing this for so long, and I'm so tired. This isn't going to happen. But you're this close. You're one step away from fulfillment with this card. That's why I like this card. So persevere, okay? Let me just take a quick look at your cards and get an overall feeling as well as any messages coming in, okay? Okay, so you are on the precipice of good news coming in. Now, it's going to be, this is a love reading, okay? So it's going to be in the direction of love. It has to do with your twin, and it's all about taking that leap of faith, getting on the new path. It's, this is an, a new path, it's a new journey, it's having the faith to do this, okay? And it, ha it involves your twin. It's something that you've manifested, but you need to be careful because where that takes you is to this place of conflict. And you're going to have a choice between 
conflict and beauty, happiness, the sun, clarity, okay? So watch out for this conflict because that's, that's probably not a direction you want to go in. You want to try to look at things from a place of love, okay? Because that's what's going to carry you through to fulfillment. It's what's going to help you bring those desires that you have into fruition, into the now, into your, um, into your world, into your life. You... I, I I see you, it's, it's almost a tug of war I see going on here. On one side, we've got the conflict, and, and the conflict comes from winning, wanting to be right. And the other side of that tug of war is clarity and happiness and moving forward. So if you can move past you or your partner, whoever this is, if you can move past the need to be right and to win, whatever this is, it's going to be different for all of you, then you'll have, you'll have the clarity. You've got it twice here. You've got it in the outcome. The Queen of Swords is all about no BS. It's about having the clarity, having the truth, the knowledge, the wisdom. And the Sun card brings you happiness with that wisdom and knowledge, etc. There have been, I feel like there have been difficult times for you with this person, with your, if this is your twin, with your twin. Now this could just represent you, but I do, it is my twin card, so even though I'm doing a Gemini reading, I still get the same feeling off of that card, that it is your twin. And it's, it's a brand new beginning. It's not going to be the way it used to be. And you've manifested this. You've worked hard to manifest this. Persevere. And what you have been trying to manifest does become your reality. If you can move forward in the direction of what it is you want with this relationship and let go of the need to be right or to win, you will be on this new path. Have faith. Take the leap of faith. Jump from here to here. Skip right past the need to be right. And if it's them that has a need to be right, try to move past that. Don't, don't, don't go through the conflict of it. Just let them have their thing and move past. Okay, that's it for the messages. So, let's clarify. <coughs> Excuse me. Alright guys, I just remembered I didn't turn my sound off on my phone and I don't want that to interrupt your reading. Um, let's clarify the Page of Wands. Let's find out what that good news is that's coming in, that message that you're going to like, that you're going to want to hear.
three cards. Okay, so Page of Wands. You have the Three of Pentacles. Ooh, Nine of Swords. Okay. The Nine of Swords and the Nine of Wands. Ooh, another nine. Things are coming to completion here. You have the Nine of Pentacles. So this message that's coming in This is someone that wants to work with you. Get out of your head. You're in your head in a big way, but this message is going to help you come out of come out of your head. Okay? And it's also going to free you from being alone. The fact that you have two nines here and a nine down here, so you have three nines. Like I said, you are this close. Ten is done, it, finished, over. Nines are coming into the finish line. It's You're almost complete with this. You're almost at the finish line of what it is that you want to achieve here. And I'm assuming that it's coming together with your twin. Fixing whatever it is that, that you know, removing the wedge that's between you is what I'm hearing. You are almost there. And you've been in your head about it, but this message, whatever this message is that's coming in, it's help to get you out of your head and change change your uh, status of being alone. I want to clarify the Fool card. Let's see what this new path... Oh, that was quick. Wow. Three cards again. Threes, three threes especially, okay? Threes are the Ascended Masters working in the background to bring things to fruition, to help you bring things, things to fruition. Now you have the Three of Pentacles. You have also have three cards. And on the Fool, you have three cards. You have the Two of Pentacles, the Ace of Wands, and the Four of Wands. Wow! Okay, another Twin Flame card. So this new path is... You're not going to have to juggle anymore. Things are no longer going to be up in the air. This new path gives you a brand new... Um, spiritual gift of stability with your twin. The Four of Wands represents um, commitment. It can be um, engagement, marriage, moving in together. It is definite commitment, though, and it's stability. And it represents Twin Flame, and this represents Twin Flame. It's going to give you the faith that you were looking for because you won't be having to juggle anymore. You won't be having to think, Ugh, there's no more being in your head. There's no more up in the air. This is solid. When this comes in, it's solid. Okay. Um, let's see, what else do we want to clarify? See, I don't know if we need to clarify anything else. By the way, this Queen of Swords, I guess this could be your person too, right? Or this could be you. 
but if it is your person, it would be another Gemini, an Aquarius, or a Libran, queen or king. But because, well, yeah, I guess it could very well be your person. It also brings you a lot of this, if it is your person, it's possible that they bring you the clarity and the knowledge and the truth that you've been desiring. Let's clarify the Queen of Swords. Let's see if this is energy or your person. Why is the Queen of Swords here, angels? I don't feel it's you, Gemini, because it's, it's the outcome position. Why would you be in the outcome position, or the possible outcome position? So this is clarity. This is going within, seeking clarity. So like I said, this is knowledge. It's wisdom. It's truth. It's clarity. So it is energy, okay? And then you have the Seven of Swords. This is, it's known as the sneaky card, but that's not what I'm sensing with it here. I don't like to look at it as a sneaky card. This is um, what I heard with this card was unexpected you don't see this coming this clarity this truth whatever this is you don't see it coming it sneaks up on you you're not expecting it but that doesn't make it a bad thing okay it's a good thing clarity is always a good thing always I think that's everything I want to clarify. So the bottom of the clarifier deck, which by the way is Shadowscapes. Ah, the Three of Cups. Oh my goodness. Okay, so the Three of Cups. That is reason to celebrate with friends and family. So again, again, it's committed relationship, it's engagement, it's marriage, goes with the four of wands. Wow, this is an amazing spread. Okay, so if you want to be sure to have this outcome, you need to change your point of attraction or your overall energy or make sure that you keep it in this direction of the sun, the happiness, okay? So if you're looking for guidance from spirit on how to do that, how to change this point of attraction to make sure that you stay happy and move in the, in the direction of this, this clarity so you can have this committed relationship, click on the link because that's what I do in the extended. We're going to take a look at um, how you can get from point A to point B by finding alignment with your inner being, with your source, okay? Thank you so much again, Gemini. This is amazing. I'll see you on the other side.